The Big Fight Live is back. Josh Kelly continues his world title pursuit against Lucas Bastida for the WBO International Super Welterweight Crown. Don't miss all the action live in The Big Fight Live, Kelly vs. Bastida, Saturday at 10 on Channel 5. This is Harry Judd for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and with the one and only Lisa Whiteside. Three years out. Yes. A great win just now against Yasmin Nad. How did it feel? Cracking. I'm so glad to be back. Um, obviously, I had the nerves in the change room. I'm like, mate, God, it's three years out. You know, he's like, you're born for this. You, you, you're made to do this. So, you know, I have the self belief, but you're always going to have them doubts. Are you three years out? Is she going to be ring rusty? Is she not? You know, is it not going to come off what we've been working on? And then lo and behold, first round bang, a dropper. So, yeah, I, even I was quite shocked with that. But Mick was just like, just line that back hand up, um, go out nice and smart, treat it as if you're third round. And lo and behold, we said if she walked onto that backhand that's exactly what would happen and um, obviously she come back she's a tough girl and um, I think she was obviously she played it and knew that she couldn't get caught with that back but I couldn't to be fair I kept hitting her with it and she's a tough tough girl to get them shots and, and my hands feeling it so her head must be so we spoke the other day you said you wanted a tough fight obviously the clash of heads yeah. didn't help no. um, it was a tough fight for you yeah, obviously I was getting cracking shots off. I was, you know, she was sloppy and round the corner and sometimes I was coming out switched off a little bit and supposedly that might be that I've been out for three three years, but you know, I couldn't miss her with the beautiful backhands, um few left ups, the uppercut, the uppercut come off every time, but she's a tough nut. Um it was just unfortunate she kept coming in with her head and we were clashing and yeah, I think it was the fourth round. It I felt it go and straight away the blood were gushing and yeah, it, to, in some ways it's good to experience that because I've never experienced it before so, to know how to deal with it so yeah my um, in that fourth round probably about halfway through it was getting obviously so, messing up with my vision so probably was boxing out one eye but um, obviously went back to corner Mick sorted it out um, ref said it was a head clash um, and got, the, the uh, doctor was absolutely fine with it so we continued and we did six rounds, but we were supposed to do eight. Well, suppose they got changed, but nobody told us. So, bit of a strange experience because I was still building into it and knew that I had another two rounds to go. And then we touched gloves. He made us touch gloves in the sixth round, and I thought it was a bit odd. And then he's like, "Oh, that's it." After the sixth round, we were like, "What?" I'm like ready and raring to, you know, really pick up the gears then. Um, but it is what it is, probably maybe a blessing because of the cut. Um, just happy to get the rounds in, you know, won every single round plus the knockdown in the first round. So what a great return, yeah, I'm really chuffed. We were surprised with how many rounds it was, but we were also surprised and how comfortable you were in the ring after such long out. And the knockdown in the first round, we thought, oh my God, it's, this is it. Um, but what, what was going through your head then? Um, well, they were saying they wanted me to get the rounds in, so you're thinking, oh shit, this might be a bit finished earlier. But I was obviously, Mick, Mick's the expert, my coach, and he, he just said, you know, if we just set it up nicely, the backhand is. If we land that, she's gonna she's gonna fall, and it's exactly what happened. And obviously, then she became wary of it. I think that's how it then ended up turning scruffy. I think she knew she couldn't leave me in that range and that distance, but still got quite a few right hands off, and it hurt my hands so bloody hands to her her head. So it was a cracky fight. Every credit to her because you know 40 fights. I don't think they're saying she's never even been dropped before. So to do that in the first round, I'm just made up, absolutely made up. And finally, then. Uh you wanted to be active, when can we next see you out? Um, I'm hoping, just speaking obviously to Probellum and obviously got a 28 day now because of my eye um, but get to obviously um, get going and hopefully back end of September straight back out again.